All right, Sacred Sage here, and I just wanted to give a thought about how I go about doing lighting. So lighting in Daz is, there's a million different ways you can do it. There's, uh, let's see, we got spotlights, distance lights, ghost lights, there's just, there's just countless ways. There's no right or wrong way of lighting per se. I mean, lighting can be better in certain, uh, certain situations than others. Me, I tend to favor the ghost lights and the spotlights. So we'll take this scene, for instance, I got an HDRI uh, image in the background, right? So let's go into iRay here. And you can see the picture in the background. And it gives natural light, even if I turn my ghost light off, you can still see the light coming in, right? So that's just the natural light from the image. But, I mean, this room looks kind of dark for, you know, being out in the day. So, I went ahead and I threw a ghost light. And it's just, I like to call it like a, a blanket light. So, it's, it takes up the whole top area, right? Now, it's not in the image, so you can't see it. If someone's like looking up at the ceiling, then you'll see that the ceiling is kind of dark. I mean, you can change that by doing the two-sided light like this too, but, I mean, it's still kind of dark. So... As long as the ceiling's not being shown, I kind of use it as like a blanket light. Now, there's other ways to light. Um, natural light makes it look a lot better, but this is kind of like the quick and easy way, right? So, that ghost light is what's making this room look so much lighter. But, let's say you don't want to have it looking daylight. Let's say, let's say I want this scene at night. What can we do? So now I'm trying to darken it. See, I already got these ghost lights already in place for the demonstration and whatnot, but it's basically the same thing. So I'm going to walk through how I put this ghost light up real quick first. Though. So smart content, I just do look it up in my smart content because I prefer the smart content versus the um, uh, content library. So iRay and this right here, plops down a red little zone, right? So let's see where it's at, right in the middle. So then we just take this bad boy, we whoop, and then when we have it in place, we just come here to materials or utility, apply before preset, bam. That puts it on an automatic 100 um, lumen. So, you can make it lower or higher. I actually don't even use any of these settings. Once it's already applied, I normally change whatever I want in the surface uh, tab here when I have ghost light. So ghost light, have ghost light selected, surface, bam. Then I can change it to whatever I want, right? So let's go ahead and delete that. All right, so that's how I ended up putting all these ghost lights in. So let's say I want to make this scene darker. First thing I'd do is I'd mess with the HDI, right? So those settings are in render settings and then environment down at the bottom. And what it is is I mess with the intensity, right? I, I leave the whole map. I don't mess with that. I, I mess with the intensity. So let's let's bring this down like really far, like 0 0.02, really far down. Boom. And you'll see it's dark now, right? It's hardly any light coming out of it. So let's go back and let's check to see how much of the picture is actually being shown. See, it's a lot darker, a lot darker. So it kind of, with the blinds, it's hard to see. To make it look uh, more nightish, right? So at night, to make it more realistic, I also put in, like, how do you put uh, the right wattage color or whatever? Uh, for these ghost lights, which they are the the temper uh, temperature. So how it works is the lower their temperature, the more like yellow to red it gets, right? I think it like uh, one, two, really low. It's like it's like red, and then at the highest, which is ten thousand, it's like blue. That's what the temperature is. So let's go ahead and hide this ghost light that I put out. So now it looks dark you can kind of see out here and i put out these small ghost lights so see how it kind of looks makes it look yellow and you can you can mess with these um 
ghost lights in several different ways. Like you can, if you feel like, oh, I'm not going to sleep. I just want some lighting, right? You can, let, let's take it up to 75, right? So let's, let's bump all these up to 75. And now it looks like you just, you're just inside. It's dark and you have the light on. This one's actually already at 100. Um, so yeah, it just looks like you're inside and the lights are a little dim and whatnot. Um, another way of lighting is point lights, which I don't have any point lights on here right now, but I also put this, uh, this ghost light in as an example. So you see this light, I got a ghost light right here and what it makes it, it makes it look like there's a natural light coming off from it. See now, if I turn that off, it won't look near as defined. See, I, it's still a little bit there. But it just it just looks better with this ghost light. Plus, it lights the room up a little bit. You'll learn little tricks as you start messing with Daz more that, um, that makes stuff just look natural. Because natural lighting is like the best thing ever. That's uh, what you want all your renders and scenes to really look like. But you don't want to really spend a whole bunch of uh, memory space doing a bunch of lights. That's why I like ghost lights. Ghost lights just makes renders go so much quicker. But you could also put a point light here. And how I do it, I, I literally just like come over here, plop, and oop, wrong one. Try again. Point light. There we go. I, I very seldom ever use point lights unless it's like a fire or like a chandelier or something. I will throw a a point light there to give it a little bit more uh, lighting and oops wrong one try again all right go down and then what we do is we just go to the light source i like to have my light geometry for the spot uh for the um point lights i like spear if it's a spotlight i i tend to do the disc right so height and width that just uh determines the lighting in the direction that uh it's aiming Render emitter, I always keep this off so it doesn't show up in renders because if you render it, it'll come up as a black spot and we don't want that. So let's just throw this up at pretty high, 25,000, right? Now let's take a look at what we have. And this is another form of lighting. Like just just instead of you don't want a ghost light or the ghost light just doesn't, it's not working right, not giving that vibe, you can always just switch to a spotlight. And how much lighting this is actually giving off is... Not all that much. Might have to bump it up a little bit more. 25,000 is kind of low for a point light anyways. So, but, and I always double it just to save time because if that was enough, you can just like double it. Okay, 50, you can start to see a little bit more. Now let's just bump it up to 100K. Boom. Now that's, now, now that's too much. So now we just cut it in half. Bam. So it, it could, it could be tweaked anyways. But um, that's why I tend to do the, the ghost lights. The ghost lights are pretty good. But let's try and make this more realistic. The first thing I did in this little room at a hospital is it's at nighttime now. So I, what I did was put a spotlight outside. So let's go into perspective. Let's get off of texture shaded. See, boom, out here. Now I got a spotlight hidden. Bam, right here. So... It's giving off a light and it's coming directly into the window, right? And this is the effect that it gives us. You can kind of see like the, the, the blue coming across here in the, on, on the sofa. And you can see it down here on the sofa and, and uh, coming onto the bed. It just gives it a more natural feel of lighting. And what I did with the spotlight was actually pretty easy. All I did was um, change the temperature. So I got the I I just jacked the temperature up to nine thousand, which gives it like a blue tint. But if it's not enough and you feel like you want more of a tint, you can you can come in here and just change the color completely. Uh, I use this color for like a night blue sometimes, and now to give it more of that blue tint and then I'd tweak something on the lines of bringing this down to counteract that too much blue Ooh, man it is Oop, it didn't go down any at all it 
and you can kind of balance the temperature and the color out as as um, as you want. See now it turns it a little yellow. So that's that's too much. That looks good. But that's just um another way of making and giving the the feel because your renders you want to make as realistic as possible when it comes to lighting. Lighting makes or breaks a render. And I know over the past year that I've been messing with Daz. I've came a long ways and I went from no lighting at all to trying to get lighting and improve upon lighting and it's 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 a hassle and it's something that you'll never perfect. You're always going to get better at the more you do it, you find more tricks, more ways and um, just new situations because no scene, no two scenes are the same. So I shot, let's say I shot the scene in the hospital, the next scene might be out in the park. I'm not going to use the same setup. I might just use a dome. I might just use an HDRI light. I'm, you know, there's no telling. So I hope you guys found this uh, kind. Of, I don't. I wouldn't call it a tutorial. More of a walkthrough on what I do with scenes. But I hope you found it helpful. If you did, give a thumbs up, a like, hit subscribe. I'm gonna start trying to do some more Daz videos. This is my first one, but um, I aim to do at least like maybe like one a week or whatnot in between this and the uh, visual novel that I'm working on. So um, if you want to see more, just let me know. And um, if you have any suggestions on what type of video you want to see next, just uh, leave a comment uh, below and I will see uh, what I can do. There's some things about Daz I just, I'm just not very familiar with, but the, I feel pretty comfortable with Daz overall though. So yeah, just, just let me know. All right, guys, take care.